Life is short. Think a lot about those who have left this world. It will remind you that you too need to leave. If people say, I don't want to think of death because it makes me depressed. It means they are leading a life that is not the way it should be. Because if you are leading the life the way it should be, you know that you're going to die and you are definitely going to go to a better place. You know that. But when you are leading a life that is filled with the desires and lusts and whims and fancies that are in transgression of the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you ought to worry. Allah says you are deceived. You are deceived. There were people more energetic than you. They stayed away from haram. There were people who had more wealth than you. They stayed away from haram. There were people who were in authority in a greater way than you. They stayed away from haram. They have earned the goodness of this world and the next. They have died in a good condition. The people remember them for their goodness. So don't be deceived. The Prophet ﷺ says, increase the remembrance of that which destroys your haram desires. What is it? Death. Think of it. I'm going to die. I could die today. I could die tomorrow. When I die, may Allah have mercy on me. I tell you, my brothers and sisters, true success is when you have died and Allah is pleased with you. No matter what age you have died, you could die at 10, at 20, at 50, at 100. That is besides the point. The point is, was Allah pleased with you when you died? If so, don't worry about what you've left behind. Everybody leaves things behind. Someone will take care of them. I always tell the people who say, no, I don't want to die right now. You know, my wife and my, my children. And I say, brother, maybe if you die, they might be leading a happier life. Who knows? <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us such that if we were to die, at least they would remember us for goodness. At least they would remember us for something decent, subhanallah. So no matter what age you die at, life will carry on. Your children, look at those who were orphaned. Your wife, look at those who were widowed. Subhanallah, things will happen. Your husband, etc. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and ease. Like I said, the idea, you got to please Allah. That's what it is. Whether you die today or tomorrow, I promise you is besides the point. You just need to have Allah with you. Once you have Allah with you, you have saved yourself. Trust me, you have saved yourself from the big disaster and calamity of the hereafter. Today we are here, our parents, our family members, our friends, we can take care of one another. Wallahi, trust me, the minute your eyes are closed and you go into that grave of yours, you are all alone. You and the mercy of Allah. What else is there? Your deeds, we ask Allah to accept our deeds. We do little deeds and we want the mercy of Allah. Ya Allah, forgive our sins and grant us a good death, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, grant us goodness in the grave as well and grant us the best of the hereafter. Ameen.